everybody, and welcome to TK's Musion Saturday Slam Fest, episode 142, for November 10th, 2018. Walking the 1v1 plank in this opening installment could be Clay Fighter's blob as he dives headfirst into an empty pool of punishment known as Zero Nosukaima's Luis Valliere. I hope the slimy sludge can find salvation smothering the explosive mage to nab his second ever win as we go over to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy! Alrighty, Luis. This freebie comes easy. I wouldn't drop the ball on this one. Luis and Blob about to have at it here. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Let's go. All right, Blob opens up the karate chop, knocks Luis back, teleports out of the way of Blob's attack, gets caught by the mace ball. Is now Blob trying to advance it on Luis, catches her right out of her aerial attack. Now Blob missed the eye shot, whip uppercut, missed the flame pillar on Blob. Now Luis getting kicked. Then whip uppercut counter from Luis, teleports away following the flame burst. Trying to attack from the air, Blob all over her here. Whip uppercut, knocks Blob, sends us right to that flame burst into the magic wand jab. And Luis caught out of the air again by Blob's karate chop. Now Luis trying to space Blob with spherical explosions, trying to spam them from a far. Luis setting up, so Luis jumping back, trying to dodge Blob, who's trying to advance on her here, and missed that aerial explosion, sent up a landmine, Blob all over her with a mallet to the karate chop combo, damn, Blob nearly has her, Blob with another karate chop, man, those flames just knocking Blob back, Luis trying to stay spaced with her explosion magic, the explosions rumbling on the ground, catches Blob off guard, Blob trying to run in, jumps over the landmine, but gets caught by the whip, uppercut, and that flame. And Luis barely manages to hang on to round one here. Round two, let's see if Blob can bring an even tougher fight to her doorstep. All right, Blob trying to close in with that multi-fist, catches Luis off guard, and, her, and Blob's boot gets deflected, and, L and Luis trying to tech through him here, and they're getting a whip uppercut right into that, expo to that mini explosion, sets up a landmine, Blob missed the eye shot, now Luis behind Blob's flame pillar, right into that explosive wave, and missed that pink energy shot, and gets the spherical explosions off, Blob trying to zip through him there, whip uppercut, right onto that landmine to the flame pillar, damn, Blob just taking severe damage now, Blob just barely managing to dodge those landmines, gets a nice aerial string on Luis, but teleports out of the way, missed the flame pillar, multi-fist catching Luis there, Luis trying to leap it on Blob, went uppercut, knocking him out of the air, Blob trying to get back up, and the flame pillar missed, Blob trying to get all over it, but, oh, flames erupting along the ground, take him out. And Blob nearly took Luis to half health in round two, but he fell apart in the end there, as she takes it 2-0. Poor Blob, this is probably one of the, one of his best performances yet, but had a 2-0 loss to show for it. But Luis punished all the misses of Blob, and that's what you're supposed to do to your opponent when they cannot hit you. And Luis finally picks up a much-needed win herself. She hasn't been winning a whole lot, but she's been forcing threes and giving, giving everybody grief. So it's finally nice to see her win one. And hopefully she can uh, continue on in Season 4. I think she's going to stick around for another season. If not, maybe she'll be in NXT or someone else's roster. I don't know. But hey, at least Luis ends Season 3 on a win. That's always good. And Blob, I think I'm going to find something new for him to do, because he's kind of sucking it up right now, badly. Alrighty, folks, be right back in a setup single set number two, and we'll see who will be in it in a moment as I prep it for you guys. Gonna get a drink, because my throat's getting beat up already. I is back and ready to continue the hike on the singles trail. Our final destination, no Fox only either, will be facing off against the Shogun of Harlem Shonuff right here and now. If he fails to pick up this victory today, a move to 2v2 or NXT could be in his future. Sometimes a change in scenery could fix a character's slump, and paired with the right partner, he could become a viable threat. Time will tell, however, as we race over to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy. Come on, Fox, I don't want this to be your last gasp. Make this a very back-and-forth match with Shonuff, and take the W if you can. Shonuff and Fox about to engage in combat in the minor circuit ring. Let's get ready to kick butt, engage, let's go. Alright, Shonuff gets knocked out of his clothesline by Fox's tail, goes into the string, right into that flame burst on Shonuff in the corner. Now Shonuff gets to wrap the jab string on Fox, hits him across the ring pretty hard, missed the clothesline there, but Fox on the defensive block at the ground stops from Shonuff and the jab strings. Now Shonuff trying to get the wrap the jab string off, Fox blocking all that. Shonuff just spamming the jabs and the ground stops and the pump strikes. Fox blocking everything Shonuff throws at him here, and Shonuff still continues to wrap the jab string there. Fox blocking all of that, but he's still sustaining some chip damage. Shonuff still trying to rip through Fox's defense. Fox blocking everything Shonuff is throwing at him. More rapid jabs coming. Fox blocks all them perfect, and ground stop spam from Shonuff trying to rip through Fox, unable to get through, and Shonuff continuing the barrage. Now gets a grab choke slam across the knees off, right to the bitch slaps now, into the ground stop there, stomach punch. Now Shonuff has his opening, ends up following Fox with a big super fist string into that dive kick. 
Now Fox with the grab into a jab, into a big uh, up smash, launching Shot up high up. Now goes for the tail shot, goes for another big up smash, launching Shot up. Oh, missed the up B there, but gets a tail sweep on Shot up, gets him twice with it. Now Shot up gets another grab special up, slams Fox across his knee, rapid bitch slaps to the face, bounce stop, stomach punch will do him away. Man, that was a pretty heated round one. Fox got shown up a little half, but can he do better in round two and possibly see a three? Time will tell as we continue on here. All right, Shonoff opens up the close up blaster, ends up canceling Shonoff out of that, gets a crowd stop into a choke slam on Fox. Fox shoved right back into the corner, and Shonoff keeping that pressure on, goes for rapid jabs. Fox blocking all that successfully, but Shonoff just still continues the melee punishment. Fox unable to break through, and he's taking very little chip damage. Shonoff ends up getting a grab into a choke slam across the face. Bitch slaps across the face now. Ground stop, stomach punch. Fox getting volley. And Shonoff grabbed again by Fox into a jab. Big up smash, launching Shonoff high up to the air. Into that flaming Fox drilling Shonoff. Missed the flame burst. Shonoff gets up the ground stop to the aerial strength, following that dive kick. And Fox pushed right back into the corner again. Shonoff just pressuring Fox hard here. More rapid jabs. More ground, ground stop spam. More palm strike. More ground stop spam. God, Shonoff just going crazy with his kicks. And ground stops and fists. Fox just trying to find an answer, unable to, and Fox still in defense mode, and Shonoff just trying to break through it to more sweep kicks, ground stomps, more rapid jab strings, Fox take, taking chip damage, and he can't stay there very long, and Shonoff just still keeping up the pressure and the punishment, more rapid jabs, Fox still blocking, and Fox gotta get something going, come on Fox, and Shonoff just still keeping it up. And Shonoff just still wailing, wailing, wailing. Now gets a finally a grab special across the knees. Choke slaps, fist slaps, ground stop, stomach punch. There you have it. And more of the same from Shonoff, but guess what? Corners are Shonoff's best friend as he completely violates Fox 2-0. Little whip. Yeah, that sums it up about right. Fox put up a decent effort in round one, but then he kind of crumbled to Shonoff's amazing pressure in round two. Poor Fox, once he was in the corner, he just could not get a single move off. Shonoff just fast with those flurries of fists, kicks, ground stops, sweeps, grabs. You name it, he threw everything in Fox's face. And then some. Oy vey. I think a change in uh, environment might be due for Fox. Because right now, he's just, he just ain't cutting it in 1v1. I think a change in scenery would probably do him a world of good. And I got a pretty nice partner I found off camera for him, so... Actually, I found this particular character on Musion Archives, and I will debut said character in Season 4 along with Fox for Doubles, and we'll see how that works out. <clears throat> and I will keep this person under wraps, and if you're thinking Falco from NXT, no, he's not it. I got someone else. And, well, sure enough, I might keep him in 1v1, or I might give him something new to do. I don't know yet. I mean, sure enough has made this a slow comeback in Season 3. I mean, he suffered quite a few losses, but he's actually getting some wins to even them out. So that's always pleasant to see. Alrighty, folks, be right back as I set up double set number one as we continue chugging along through EP 142. Be right back, and I'll get it set up momentarily. The journey continues, Musionites. Now we venture into doubles. It looks like Mr. X, Dr. <coughs> <laughs> Mega Man 6 Squadron of Centaur Man and Nightman are ready to pulverize their next batch of adversaries, and it will come in the form of High School DXD's Issei and Konako. The Gremory household can't be too pleased with the latest performances. I hope they can step it up before they get snuffed out forever. As we hurry over to a random stage, hope you all enjoy! Rias is watching on you two! Issei and Konako, better shape up, or you might get shipped out via her your asses. Mega Man 6 and High School DXD are about to throw down in the light music club room. Already, Rue. And is the battle going to start? Oh, here we go. Let's get ready to kick butt, engage. Here we go. All right, Centaur Man opens up with the dashing headbutt following Nightman's baseball. Now Konako jumping in with the dive kick right to that super fist ring. It's a hanging back behind her spamming those energy balls. Now Centaur Man going for spear jabs at Konako. Big spear swipe right to that dashing headbutt. Nightman spamming the baseball from behind Centaur Man who gets knocked out of his energy arrow. A Keno summon. Big thunderbolt strike at the Robot Masters. It's a staying space with the fireballs. Baseball from Nightman coming out. Now Konako charging in. Big super fist ring takes Centaur Man out. And Nightman getting badged into the corner via Konako's run kick. Now it's a hanging behind Konako. Konako holding up the front beautifully. Issei advancing on Nightman now. This is Konako with the low jabs. Big roundhouse kick. Nightman nearly dead. Issei attacking from the air now. The Nightman with the shield shot. Going for the mace ball spin. Catching Issei and grazing Konako. Now Issei going for his special now. And Nightman way up in the air. I don't think he's going to get hit by that unfortunately. Issei might have had a whiff here. And Nightman still stuck. Oh wait. Nightman dropped right into Issei's special. There he goes. 
Damn, he fell like a rock right into it. This ain't Kodiko. Take round one. Round two. Who will get the win here? All right, see, so Central Bank and Spear out right to the dash headbutt. And Nightman. Oh, Kodiko just slamming him in the head with the big kick. And they say about to unload a uh, Busto special of some sort. Big Busto puncher fireball. We'll see which one it is in a moment. Issei still calling for it. Oh, Centaur Man knocked back Nightman. Pulled it up the front as Koniko tries to get in. Oh, Centaur Man got knocked out of his headbutt. Now goes for spear jabs behind Nightman. Nightman and, Co and Centaur Man trying to sandwich Koniko, who breaks Centaur Man away. And Nightman pairing off with Issei, dashing headbutt, following Nightman's super baseball sweep, going across the stage, takes Koniko out. And Issei about to go for another boost up punch, trying to disrupt Nightman. And Centaur Man looks like he's about to go for an energy arrow. I don't know if he's going to get it off successfully or not. We'll find out in a minute, though. And see, oh, looks like dashing headbutt from Centaur Man disrupts Issei and takes him out. Holy crap, Ola! The Mega Man 6 Robot Masters do come back nicely in round 2. And we are going to an unexpected round 3. Who will seize the win? Alright, Centaur Man is knocked out of the spear. Baseball from Nightman coming out. Energy arrows from behind. Now Nightman unloading a big baseball chain. Baseball sweeping across the stage. Doing well over half of Konico's health. Damn. And it looks like Centaur Man trying to attack with his spear from behind Issei. Who turns around. It looks like Centaur Man's about to teleport away from Issei's special. So good timing on Centaur Man's part. Issei gonna whiff his attack as he Konico sweep kicks Nightman on the other side. Goes into Nico though. Big jumping right house trick right to that dive kick gun. Konico wailing on both Robot Masters. Big spear uppercut knocking Konico down. Now Konico knocked out of her special via that energy arrow. Nightman trying to shield Konico from getting in. Centaur Man teleporting by Nissei. Goes for that explosive wave. It's a missing. Now Nightman just clubbing Konico in the other corner. Big baseball rain nearly takes Konico on Nissei's sandwich. Right between Centaur Man's headbutt. Big raining mace balls. Konico throws Centaur Man up. Big backbreaker. But the shield jab from Nightman offs her from behind. Holy crap, man! That round three came down to the wire as Koniko gets dropped by Mega Man 6's best robot masters 2-1. It's free real estate. Well, it's much better than Centaur Man swearing up a storm. Oi. Thank God I don't have to break the sensors out this time. Yeah, Centaur Man and Nightman proving to definitely be the best Mega Man 6 robot masters because. There was a Tomahawk Man for Mugen, but he kind of sucks. He's only got like two moves, and that's all he does. And Plus, his sprites are very stiff, and his AI is kind of bleh. Otherwise, I probably would have had him on my Mugen roster. Him, Nightman, and Centaur Man would have been doing 3v3, but that's not to be. But hey, Centaur Man and Nightman don't need anyone else. They're doing quite well on their own together. Dropping Issei and Koniko is always a solid win. Because, you know, Issei and Koniko, they can be good when they, you know, when they gel, but sometimes they don't, and this is the result. <laughs> Anyways, good job to Mr. X slash Dr. Wily's Robot Masters. We know they're the same person. I'm just acting like as if they're separate entities, but I know they're not. Issei and Koniko, well, I think I might do something different with them. I think NXT will be in their future. They might do better down there, I'm hoping. So I'll shuffle them down there. Their season three's over. I gave them a while, and they just don't seem to be doing too well here against my tougher teams. Alrighty, folks, be right back as I get double set number two ready. Maybe we'll get another three in that installment. Be right back as I pull it up and I get an ice cold drink of water from my throat, which is quickly gassing out. Howdy, peeps! This next 2v2 could be torturous for one team. Higarashi's Rika and Hanyu have been an unstoppable force so far, and defeating Silver Samurai and Omega Red in their last fight warrants me saying that. SOS Brigade's Koizume and Ryoko have quite the weight on their shoulders, as they haven't been able to pick up too many high-caliber major wins. This could be their very first if their colossal combo work comes together between them. As we leap on down to a random stage, hope you all enjoy! Koizume, you better wrap up your flame ball and Ryoko, get those laser daggers ready. You want to burn and slash through these two cuties. Higarashi versus Horuhi on the living forest stage. Man, those trees in the background are creepy. Eek. Anyways, let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Koizumi opens up the flame wall. Riku going for the Raiding Knights. Go right to the Diamond Barrier, falling on his aerial to Ryoko in the meantime. Now Koizumi trying to leap in to save Ryoko. Missed the flame burst from his hand. Now goes for a fireball in the back of Rika. It's her. Now see Koizumi goes for the flame ball, and Ryoko with the nice uppercut. Koizumi knocked back by the light screen. Now charges in with the flame ball again, and Ryoko going for some energy sparks. Now Ryoko changing up the light screen, following Koizumi's flame shot from his hand. Good God, man, Rika did already flame ball from... Koizume and Hanyu in deep trouble. Ryoko trying to charge in. Lightning wave knocks Koizume back. Now Ryoko throws off a laser dagger. Now goes for... Oh boy, what's she going for now? Light screen knocks Koizume on his face. Now see Ryoko summoning a bunch of laser daggers or javelins or whatever. Oh, wait. Laser daggers and javelins. Eek, Hanyu better watch out. 
If she gets hit by any of those, she could be done. And Hanyu's caught right out of the air, gets grazed by it. Hanyu just tries to stay in the air, raining down energy spheres. Tries to get a dash tackle up, but Koizume cuts her off at the knees. Sheesh! Koizume and Ryoko is a nice dominant round one here. I'm quite surprised at that. So are Jaden Smoke in the background. Uh-oh, Hanyu powering up for round two. She got that demon sword out. And Rika there with her mop, ready to clean up their act. Anyways, round two, let's go again. All right, see so Ryoko jumping in. Oh, Hanyu going fuck wild with that demon sword. Does some big damage. Nearly half of Koizumi's health. All right, see so Mr. Diving King. Now Koizumi trying to aerial chain Hanyu. Now the Satoko drill from Rika coming out. And so it's like both Ryoko and Koizumi get hit hard. Diamond barrier ends up drilling Ryoko. Hanyu holding up the front of their jabs. Oh, see Ryoko paired off and Rika in the meantime. Gets a touch sniper shot. Now Koizumi going for a rainbow beam from Hanyu. Disrupting whatever Koizumi was going to do. Takes him out. Now Ryoko in trouble. Hanyu just mauling her with that demon sword. Energy spears. Rika tries to throw knives off. And Ryoko trying to attack. Oh, Hanyu going for that demon sword strike. Takes Ryoko out hard. Man, that just literally cut her defenses in half and take, takes round two. Sheesh. And we are going to round three, folks, man. I hope I have enough to get through it. Let's see how Hanyu missed the white screen. Ryoko throws up an energy spark, missed that dive kick from Hanyu, missed Koizumi. Koizumi gets a jab off. Now Rika going for the Satoko drill here. As it's like Ryoko and Koizumi trying to sandwich Hanyu, but the drill breaks it up. Energy diamond barrier hits Koizumi. Energy is here from Hanyu, knocks Koizumi back. And Ryoko trying to disrupt it. White screen deflecting Koizumi. Ryoko getting a nice uppercut off of Rika, ends up sandwiching her. Good, good God. Hanyu going for that team of Sword nearly has Koizumi's number. As he has flame burst in the back of Hanyu. And now it's the energy spear. Ryoko going for the energy spark. Koizumi attacking from behind with the fireballs. This goes in for the flame ball. Ends up grazing Hanyu, who gets a demon sword striker. Koizumi, there he goes. Now Rika riding the mop right in the Ryoko's face. Now Han right the Hanyu special. Summons another Hanyu with the demon sword. Sl slamming those kid tin cans. Now goes for a bunch of energy spheres, I think. Off no, they, they just explode. Never mind. She usually summons energy spheres to blow right into those, but not this time. And they didn't even need it. Friggin' Higurashi managed to come back in round two and round three and take the two one finish. Very surprising, but Koizume and Ryoko, man, they put up a way better fight than Silver Samurai and Omega Red did against the Higurashi Tykes, I guess I could say. Because they are both wallies, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, pretty back and forth match from all four of these combatants. Very good to see. And Rika and Hanyu just still very dominant, folks. Not a single team have beaten them yet. Silver Samurai and Omega Red and Koizume and Ryoko back to back. Two very hard teams to knock out. And they did it. And Koizume and Ryoko were off to a very strong start, just too bad they couldn't maintain it. They tried, though. And Koizume and Ryoko, they have way more wins than losses, so I'm sure they'll recover in Season 4. Plenty of time for them to get more big wins. And Rika and Hanyu, I think they might continue in doubles in Season 4, or they might go to... S Maybe they'll do 3v3 or 4v4 if they can get more of their Higurashi friends to join them. I don't know. I mean, there is a Satoko character out there, and as you can see from NXT, you know Ren is there. And... Is Kaishi around the corner? Possibly. I don't know. Anyways, stay tuned, folks. We got a big 4v4 main event coming up. Yes, 4v4 coming up. I will set it up in a moment. Got to get a drink because my throat is really, really hurting and really, really dry. Back in a bit. Ladies and gents, episode 142's 4v4 main event aims to excite, hopefully... Team Keon's Yui, Mio, Mugi, and Ritsu got a monster challenge to face today with Team Symbiote's Venom, Carnage, Phage, and Scream. Eek! I hope the Light Music Club could carry their tunes around the squared circle and blow the Marvel Evil's eardrums out. Will they light up the crowd too and obtain a much-needed W? Random stage, let us know please. Hope you all enjoy. Come on, Keon, I'm pulling for you. Overcome the Symbiote Evil coming your way. The F142 4v4 main event is upon us. Team Keon, Team Symbiotes, WBF Force War Ring. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. Yui, Mio, Mugi, and me. Leon, the Symbiotes. Big butt rush for Mugi. Now Yui with the Rocket Guitar Special. And Mio just slamming Venom. Oh my god. Now it's the Elf Richard charging up the drumstick. More Rocket Guitar Special for Yui. God, the Symbiotes just getting destroyed. And now Richard will only that big lightning bolt from a drumstick. That car is spice flopping. My god, Venom dropped by Mio's kick. Holy smokes, a damn near flawless from Keon in round one. They caught the symbiotes completely off guard. But the bad news for Keon going into round two, the symbiotes have a full level three special intact. That could be bad for them. Round two, let's see if the symbiotes can take advantage. All right, see Carnage trying to shield up on the girls. Now Venom trying to go, well, Venom spawning three heads here. Now it gets a big 
the tentacles shot off as they scream away. The hair of Richie trying to break it up the drumstick and watch it fall. My god, Venom just with the ultimate. Now Cardi's going for the action spin and Fade's trying to get a slide kick in. Man, all the key uncles getting creeped in the air. Fade trying to leave in Carnage. Now Venom ends up trapping up and web. Oh, Richie gets knocked out of her lightning bolt special. Now Keon just getting slammed here. Carnage trying to attack from the air. Fade's on the ground. Venom and Casey go. Was a Yui the only one? Yui and Richie the only two left here. And Scream paired off with Ritsu. And it's a Yui sandwich. And Carnage going for that action spin. And now Carnage going for the tentacle special. Following Venom's fang warp. God, I think Yui got off. And Ritsu the only one left. Venom trying for a hammer arm. Scream attacking. And Ritsu oh, big knife, oh, knife shots from the ground. From Fade's take out Ritsu. And the symbionts managed to hang on in round two, folks. They seize it. And they give themselves a fighting chance at round three. Now can they get it? Time will tell in a moment. Here we go. All right, so Yui gets a grab off of Venom with the Fang Worm. Richard going for the Lightning Bolt. Catches Carnage and Venom for good damage. It's like Venom traps one of them in web. Carnage going for the Tentacle Special. Fade spam with the Buzz Saw across the air. Scream attacking with her hair. As the uh, Richard gets caught in the Tentacle Special from Carnage again. My God, the Key Uncle stays falling. Fade with the Buzz Saw. Richard cutting him off the Electric Bolt. Venom trying for the Hammer Arm up front. Richard with the Electric Bolt again. Mio trying to charge in. Now uh, Venom with that uh, Carnage that Underground Claw. Oh, uh, Richard whipping the Lightning Bolt the other direction. Mio might have missed her special. Looks like Carnage and Fade are down. Venom and Scream trying to finish off the Key Uncle. I'll see Venom trying to attack, but Yui's butt rush takes Venom out and Scream drops to Mio and Ritz on the other side. Holy crap! Had a hard time keeping up, but the Keon girls have pulled off a... I would have to consider this an upset. I honestly thought the symbiote's aggression was going to get them to win easily here, but no. Keon specials get them to the 2-1. Oh, I'm too lazy to continue fighting. I want to go home and lay down all day. Whew, barely had time to read that. Had to be quick. But man, good job, Yui, Mio, Muki, and Ritsu. This was a definitely a big win for them here. Didn't anticipate them going over the symbiotes. And that, that round one completely caught me off guard. I did not expect Keon to get that aggressive with them. But the symbiotes with the level three definitely kept them in it for round two. But man, Ritsu's lightning bolt spam is nasty. And her drumstick specials hit pretty hard too. And she can get some counters off if she times them well. Not that she really needed them, because Mio Mugi and Yui are about as aggressive as her. Man, those girls really impressed me today. Hell of a 4v4. And a great way to end Ep 142, folks. So stay tuned. Oh, I hope you all enjoyed Ep 142 before I continue on. Hopefully it delivered for you guys. We had a fair amount of round threes. Anyway, stay tuned for Ep 143 coming next weekend, where I'll hopefully have more badass brawls awaiting you. Until then, I'll see you all later. Peace, frigate out all.